Hi, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Lotteries, Carrier Business, Casino, Financial Speculation, etc. And this is for you coming from Scorpio. And the first card that I'm going to pull will be to do with your first 15 days of April. And I'm going to tackle quickly your job area, you coming from Scorpio. It's a good card. <laughs> It says you're going to get plenty of support in the first 15 days where your job is concerned, giving you better status, giving you possibilities of increase in pay and such good things. The only warning from this card is that to control your ego and not allow yourself to make any demands. So be part of the team, improve your, your tolerance for others and you'll do much better in the first 15 days. Plenty to gain. Now I'm going to pull the next card to do about the first 15 days of April and it's got to do with your business areas. It's a card that says it's more money going out than money coming in. But it's not a bad card. So it says that while you expect to venture into different types of business, ask yourself whether you have the financial capabilities or are, are you allowing your ego it's a card of ego. You see that yellow moon there. It's a card of ego. And so the ego moon will make you want to go into business ventures for the sake of satisfying your ego. And that would be a problem because you may not have the finances to then cope with it. So think twice about this and not make any rash moves in the first 15 days where your business is concerned. Now I'm going to talk to you about your last 15 days with this card, next card, and it's got to do with your business areas, you coming from Scorpio. Well, this is a very, very bad card for you coming from Scorpio. And the last 15 days of April are going to become very difficult for you. So we're talking about your job and your job is at risk of you losing a job or getting very bad deal from the job you have. So you're going to be looked down by your superiors and blame may come as well. Bottom line is that the job is not very stable, not very safe for you. So you can't afford to show a lack of uh, tolerance. You cannot afford to show a lack of teamwork. You need a lot of support to keep going. So bad news regarding job in the last 15 days. Be very careful. Things are going to go against you. The next card is about your business and we're talking about you coming from Scorpio. Last 15 days of April. It's a card that says, now I'll show you this card. It's a card of Venus and Mercury. And the card says that while you have many things to do already, your finances are not stable. So money is being pulled left, right, center and is being stretched to the breaking point. So you have a danger if you are in business of getting very bad news. It's either the collection or not enough money to sustain your business. So you don't want to take the risk in the last 15 days of trying to chase or compete with a new business. Don't do that. Play very safe, lie very low and just let the last 15 days pass because I see no chance of you showing any kind of profit or any kind of good news. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky dates, D-A-T-E-S. Let's see what the card says for you. Now, Kabbalistic cards have got signs of planets, signs of zodiac signs, and here it's a pretty good card. Well, the dates which I'm very very impressed with in the month of April are the 9th, the 18th and the 27th. 9th, 18th and 27th are going to be marvelous dates for you. Morning, afternoon, evening, night time. Go after what you want. The job area and the financial area and the speculation area. Go to the casinos if you have to and you'll see that you get some very good news on the 9th, 18th and 27th any time of the day. Now I'm going to talk to you about a lucky direction. Why? Because nine planets are all around Earth. And when you look left, right, north, south, east, west, you're going to be facing a planet. And so you coming from Scorpio. Now this is a card of the compass itself. So it's a very interesting card that I've pulled for you. And I would say that it would be profitable for you in the month of April if you can look at west, the setting sun west, for any kind of inspiration, whether in job, 
whether in business, whether in lotteries, whether in speculation. So look west and you're going to find plenty of good luck coming for you for the month of April as much as possible. Now about lottery favoured numbers. So there are going to be some numbers which are going to find a lot of favour. So let me see. Now what I've done is I've, I'm going to give you three sets of numbers. And the first two sets of numbers, I'm going to use Kabbalistic astrology. So what I've done is I've tracked the nine planets in the month of April. I've divided the nine planets into two groups. And the first group with five planets, these are the numbers which I've got through Kabbalistic astrology. I've done my homework for you. So the notes say that the numbers 8, 17, 26, 35, 44, 53 and 62 are going to be very lucky and active numbers in the month of April for you. The second group of planets, which are four planets, I've tracked them and from there I got these numbers. The number 2, 11, 20, 29, 38, 47, 56 or 65. The third set of numbers, I'm going to use Kabbalistic tarot cards to see what the tarot card says for you coming from Scorpio and is the card of fire, is the card of aggression so my mind goes to the numbers 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54 or 63. So you've got three sets of numbers so what do you do now? Well if you have been to see me I will say go and buy some paper which is of your lucky colour. But if you haven't been to see me, then just go and buy some white paper, A4 size paper and get a scissors when you come home and cut this 2 inch by 2 inch strips, roughly 2 inch by 2 inch. You don't have to be exact about it. So roughly 2 inch by 2 inch and you will see that you will have plenty of this 2 inch by 2 inch ready. On each of this 2 inch by 2 inch, you will write just one number. So you may start with the number 8. Write it down on this 2 inch by 2 inch, fold it up, put it on the table, get the next 2 inch by 2 inch and then write the number 17 and go on on different 2 inch by 2 inch papers until you've got all the three sets of numbers on it. Okay, now I would ask you to do an exercise on your lucky days. And if you've been to see me based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms, I would know and I would, I would have told you your lucky dates. But since you have not been to see me, then just choose any convenient date and start to sit down and start to think of this program. And then I will say now that you are ready to choose your numbers. So face your best directions when you do it and you'll only know that if you've been to see me. In the meantime, just be convenient, choose face any direction you like. So you need to follow many rules. And now I will show you then how to make use of this supernaturalness in you. You see, your fingerprints and your thumbprints don't belong to you, they belong to your soul. They are the code of your soul. They are the identity of your soul. And so the different fingers and the thumb that you have are all controlled by the different nine planets in the universe who have the influence on Earth, of us on Earth. And if you have been to see me based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms, I would choose a finger which will represent the planets who are the best in your horoscope. So I would tell you to use your thumbs which control the sun position as you end sun and to join it to either here or maybe here or maybe here or maybe here depending on your horoscope. So you do that. Why? Because that when you do, you get the attention of your soul and that's how you communicate with your soul. And so I will ask you to do that for 30 seconds or one minute or two or three minutes. It's up to you. Some even ask me, can I say a prayer? So while you do this or this or this or this for 30 seconds or three minutes, you will then focus on getting a number for you, which may be the lottery number. And you will pick up one paper from there, you will open it and you will see one number you wrote and you write it down on a piece of paper and you fold this paper and put it back there. You can shuffle these papers around if you like and then go back to getting the attention of your soul. So if you need six numbers, you do have to do this exercise six times. If you need five numbers, then you do it five times. It's very important. And once you've chosen your numbers, you'll have to only go and buy them on your lucky days. And you won't know that unless you've been to see me for this 90-minute session, which will I charge USD 50. 
And so you will go and buy them on your lucky days. And when you go to buy your numbers, you have to wear your lucky colors because every color that you wear on you opens a channel of energy to a planet that controls the color that you're wearing at the moment. If it happens to be a lucky color, it means you're communicating to a lucky planet. If you happen to wear a bad color, it means you're, you are just attaching yourself to the wrong planet. So your soul will be confused as well. So you've got to wear your best colors, got to go and buy your lottery ticket, never mind about the drawing date, that's for everybody. So you see many things are done like this. This 90 minute session which I talk about will tackle your next seven, eight or nine years. And I will talk to you about your health and your romance and your marriage. And I'll talk to you about many, many areas in your life in the seven, eight or nine years so that you are fully under control. I'll give you your personal lucky lottery numbers and your personal colors, lucky colors and your lucky directions and your lucky days and your lucky gemstones, a lot of information. So you are on top of things for the rest of your life. And so I look forward to getting an email from you. And my email is andyhoro9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O. -O nine the number nine at gmail.com i look forward to hearing from you until then thank you and goodbye